Hello and welcome to the channel. Uh, you join me here in Wensleydale in North Yorkshire, uh, in the Yorkshire Dales here in the UK. Lovely day, uh, although I suspect it's going to be a bit windy to hire a climb up here. Here in the UK we have what's called activity contests and these are on the VHF, UHF and microwave bands, the, the national contests and uh, they're there to promote activity on, on band. So tonight is the 70 centimetres contest and now I'm going to my, my usual contest in spot. So here we've got the, the, the main items of paraphernalia for the outside of the station. A drive-on plate with a rotator cage, rotator, telescopic mast and the stub mast to go on top of that. And uh, an 18 element uh, 70s antenna. Um, nine metres of Messi and Palomi uh, Extra Flex Bury, I think it's called. And uh, we've still got a bit more paraphernalia in the car, uh, guys and so on. So, uh, and then there's the inside station to set up. So I'll get all this uh, put together now. We've got a bit of a, a breeze coming from uh, the northeast, which is that way. And uh, normally the wind comes from the southwest, which is that way, and it whistles up here. So what can be quite a mild day at home can be quite uh, challenging up here. So we're getting there, we're on the plate, we've got the mast loosely loosely fastened in, it needs a lining later. We've got the bottom guys attached um, but just loose out on the on the grass and they're the guys for the stub mast. So now it's a case of putting the antenna together, attaching the coax on the stub mast and then uh, attaching these guys, lifting it onto here and then uh, going for the push up and then it's a case of putting the guys in. Not too bad today but on a really windy day you struggle uh, and sometimes the mast isn't very high. Right, so we're ready for the lift. We've got the top guys attached, coax attached, Yagi all assembled and on the stub mast. Um, the steps ready, and it's a case of uh, lifting it all on here. Again, if it was windy, well, windier than it is now, this would be a bit tricky. Uh, lovely blue sky, but imagine doing this in the dark in winter when it's blowing and raining. Uh, it's not very pleasant. You have to remind yourself at times it's a hobby. Right, going for the lift. Right, we're on. I just need to put a pin through there to stop this part in. And then this clamp to go on there just to tighten it up. So far, so good. Right, so that's the outside done, the mast's straight, we're pointing south, all the guys are on. On this side, because I'm on the road, I've only got one wheel to, to tie to, which is a bit of a pain, because this is the direction the wind's coming from, but there you go. So now for the inside. So it's only now when you know whether all this works, so of the packing of the car, driving here, setting up the outside, setting up the inside, uh, will it all work the same as it did last month? So let's see. Meter on, rig on. Um, if you've been watching the channel, that's 20 meters from a, a recent video or a video about to be released. Depends what order they come in. Uh, so we want 10 meters. Transverter on. You can see the receive there, shut up. And uh, amplifier on. And that interference is um, Farlingdale's, which is on the North York Moors, um, to the east of me. It's a radar station. So what we've got here, it's a transverter I'm using. Uh, so the rig, to all intents and purposes, is, is running on 10 metres. It's none the wiser. It thinks it's receiving and transmitting on 10 metres. The transverter, as the name suggests, then takes that 10 metre signal and uh, convert it in this case to 70 centimeters and similarly on receive uh, and this low power transverter then drives this microset amplifier they're all running off um, the life 
bore four battery, which I'll just show you in a second. Um, and that's about it really. Uh, obviously there's lots of connections, lots of things can go wrong. There's PTT connections between all of these, push to torque, rather than relying on RF sensing. Um, so I'll show you around the back and then you can uh, get an idea of how it's all connected together. Uh, we've got an inverter down here, excuse me, inverter down here, uh, producing mains for the rotator. Uh, I need to do a full rotator test and then we're, we're ready to go. I'll show you the uh, the back of the setup first. Oh, apologies for the dust. <laughs> the camera shows it up. Um, been a lot of work going on in the garage. So this is the LifePo 4 battery, uh, 105 amp hour. It's going to run everything tonight. It'll probably use about 30 amps for the duration of the contest, running uh, 100 watts. Um, so we've got the antenna fit coax coming into the uh, meter, and then out of the meter, we've got it running into the back of the amplifier. Out of the amplifier, it comes out and goes into the transverter and then the transverter there's a BNC there and a short runner coax to a PL259 into the rig there uh, so this this end is HF frequencies and then everything above is uh, UHF so we've got uh, far superior coax uh, here than we have here this this is a very very short run at, uh, at 10 meters 28 megahertz so no problem there so we've got uh, PTT linear coming out of uh, the rig that drives both the uh, transverter and the amplifier so when you key they both transmit uh, and we've also got uh, the remote connection there that's um, actually the uh, the uh, memory keyer uh, so uh, calling CQ and so on uh, is it a pushable button and there go some motorbikes um, so that's the, the the sharp end of things really So you can see uh, before the SSB contest starts, well all mode actually, other than digital, uh, we've got uh, an FM contest uh, between 7 and 7.55 uh, and there's a, a bit of activity. It's usually quite low on 77s, I'm quite north uh, away from the main population of the UK and uh, 70 m's the beams are very directional so uh, you've got to be pointing at people generally. So that's Wayne. Uh, down in 82 square, I'm in 94 square, so it's a, a fair distance, it's always a good signal. Well, we're about to start, apologies for the reflection on the screen. CQ contest, Golf Zero, Charlie, November, November, portable contest. CQ contest, Golf Zero, Charlie, November, November, portable contest. CQ Contest, Golf Zero, Charlie, November, November, Portable Contest. Just using the voice key to save my voice. Golf Zero, Echo, Alpha, Kilo, Portable, uh, Evening Steve, you're 5-5, five, five, number 1, 5-5, five, five, number 1, in India, Oscar, 9-4, Alpha, India, Roger. Roger, go, uh, Ian, no problem, 5-8, number 2, Italy, Oscar, 9-3, November, India, go. Yeah, you're stronger now, Steve, good luck, 7-3. QRZ Contest, Golf Zero, Charlie, November, November, Portable. G8 SEI, evening Jeff, 5-9, number 2, India, Oscar, 9-4, Alpha, India, roger. Roger, roger, you're 5-9, also number 2, India, Oscar, 9-2, Fox, Oscar, see you in a bit. Good luck, Jeff, 7-3, QRZ contest, Golf 0, Charlie, November, November, portable. Uh, Golf 0, X-ray, Bravo, uniform. G0, XBU, evening Ian, you're 5-7, number 3, 5-7, number 3, in India, Oscar, 9-4, Alpha, India, roger. Yeah, roger, roger, thanks, you're also 5-7, number 2, I am 83, uniform box, over. Roger, roger, I'll copy to Ian, good luck, 7-3. QRZ contest, Golf 0, Charlie, November, November, portable. So a slow start and then a spurt of activity. Oh, yeah. 
Roger, uh, golf four, November, Tango, Yankee, evening, John, uh, five, five, number four, five, five, number four, India, Oscar, nine, four, Alpha, India, Roger. Roger, Roger, John, I'll copy, good luck, seven, three. QRZ contest, golf zero, Charlie. Well, it's just over an hour gone. Um, sun's gone down. I've been uh, using headphones, so not easy to record. So QRZ. Good evening, John G zero VGZ. Uh, you're five and one. Five two five one and fifty two India Oscar nine four Alpha India Roger Yeah, thanks for that John. Uh, catch you later on, maybe on the drive home. Seven three Bye bye, seven three QIZ contest golf zero Charlie November November portable. So it's been paths open to Europe. So here's uh, Sweden and uh, the Netherlands. We're here. And uh, going well so far. Uh, so see how we get on. 53 contacts. And this is a, a tropospheric propagation model uh, online for Europe. And you can see here. Uh, for this evening, uh, the uh, the bright banded area moving down the North Sea, uh, which assures that uh, the prediction uh, was reasonably accurate. This is Filing Gale's radar station. I'm pointing at it, and it completely desynthesizes the radio. So it sounds like there's no volume. Noise blanker helps. But then you lose some of the uh, selectivity of the front end. So it's pretty awful. It's not far east of me. Well, it's half past ten. The contest's just finished. Uh, you can see the band's quietening down now. Uh, very good evening, propagation wise, to Europe. Uh, I've got lots of squares I wouldn't have normally expected. Uh, you can see there, I've got 105 contacts. And I've worked uh, 23 squares, uh, so obviously others will have done well as well. So now it's time to pack up in the dark, and uh, it's darker than it actually looks out there, <laughs> and, uh, and safe journey home. Well, that was my second best score on 77's contesting. At the time of recording this, I don't know how well I've done because I have to wait for the log submission deadline to pass before releasing the video. Uh, hopefully that's maybe sparked a little bit of interest for yourself if you're not uh, currently into VHF, UHF contesting. Uh, great fun can be had and you can do it with quite simple equipment. If you get the bug, uh, then who knows. Hope you enjoy the video. 73.